the memory access time is 1 nanosecond for a read operation with a hit and cache, 5 nanoseconds for a read operation with a miss in cache, 2 nanoseconds for a write operation with a hit in cache and 10 nanoseconds for a write operation with a miss in cache. Execution of a sequence of instructions involves 100 instruction fetch operations, 60 memory operand read operations and 40 memory operand write operations. The cache hit ratio is 0 0.9. So what is the average memory access time in executing the sequence of instructions? So it's given that for a read operation, the cache access time is 1 nanoseconds if it is a hit and the memory access time that means when there is a cache miss it's 5 nanoseconds. For a write operation cache access time is 2 nanosecond and memory access time when there is a miss is 10 nanoseconds. It's also given that the hit ratio is 0 0.9. And we also know that the average memory access time is given by this equation hit, hit ratio into the time taken to access the cache plus 1 minus h which is the miss ratio into time to access the main memory. So this we are given, hit ratio we are given and this is the average memory access time required. So if we look at the sequence of instructions, there are 100 fetch operations. Fetch operations mean they are a read operation because the instructions are being read from the memory. So using this equation and the values that are given for the read, so this is 100, so 100 multiplied by hit ratio into time to access the cache which is 1 plus 1 minus h which becomes 0 0.1 into time for the memory which is 5. So the, this gives a total of 140 nanoseconds. There are 60 operand read operations. So again this is a read operation and there are 60 of it. So still applying the same formula and using the values for the read operation 0 0.9 into 1 plus 0 0.1 into 5. This gives us a total of 84 nanoseconds. Then there are 40 operand, this should be right, right operation, operations. So 40 and using this formula again, now we have to use the values for the right operation. So 0 0.9 into 2 plus 0 0.1 into 10 which is 112. So the total time required is the summation of this 140 plus 84 plus 112 which is 336. What are the total number of operations? 100 plus 60 plus 40 which is 200. So 200 operations done in 336 nanoseconds. So the average memory access time is 336 divided by 200 which is 1.68 nanoseconds.